preparation of uh, PSK phase shifting and detection. Uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and like my videos. Here is the setup already connected and uh, output is there. Yes, here we are getting here uh, the PSK output. This is the message signal and this is the PSK. PSK. For this, uh, this is the setup. We require uh, the IC that is 4051 and MIUI 741 and this is the power supplies and two function generators you require for uh, message signal and the carrier signal. So phase shift keying is basically the definition if you look into that uh, definition phase shift keying is the digital modulation technique in which the phase of the carrier signal is changed in accordance with the binary data that is message signal by keeping uh, the amplitude and frequency constant the two parameters will be constant only the phase is changed this is the example waveform I had taken this is example bit suppose 11100111100 this is the carrier signal having a constant amplitude and frequency. Here the phase is changing in accordance with the binary data. This is the example waveform I have written. Here you can observe the phase is changing whenever the binary data is changing from 1s and 0s and 0s and 1s. Alternatively it is changing. Phase 180 phase degree reversal it is going to happen. This is the phase shifting basically. Now coming to the block diagram. If I want to explain you, here the IC what I am using is 4051, the main IC that is a 8 channel MUX or DMUX, you can use it as a multiplexer or demultiplexer. Suppose to generate, for the generation of PSK, we require totally 3 signals. One is message signal that is a square wave in terms of binary data, so another one is carrier signal, so another one is inverted carrier signal three inputs we require at the input side three signals we require to the generation of PSK so for this for square wave we have a function generator that is readily available square wave and a carrier signal this is also a readily source available but to get this inverting carrier we are going it for inverting amplifier by using op amp so first the initial setup before going to this block this circuit or this block we have to initially generate one inverted signal after that you can apply it to this pin number 13 so this is the flow actually how to go through I will show only first how to generate the inverting signal that is required for the generation of PSK and after that I will show you PSK so this is the invert, invert carrier, inverted carrier generator here op amp have been used that is 741 here that is same thing it is there may 741 and two 10k registers here i have to apply one sine wave that is acting as a carrier here i have to get an inverted signal that is required for our psk modulation so first i'll show this circuit here already it is there the op amp 741 it is already biased plus 12 it is given to pin number 7 minus 12 pin number 4 and it is a common ground here it is a 10k register when it is given to an open end another 10k register it is between pin number 2 and pin number 6 and pin number 3 of op amp should be grounded you should not forget to ground pin number 3 of op amp I will take one sine wave just see here I will apply this sine wave to one end of uh, this 10k register other end of this probe it is common ground Coming to this uh, DSO, the same signal what I applied at the input side, I am checking it out across the DSO, same sine wave it is coming there, sine wave. Now I will show you the output, that is the expected output is inverted sign you should get. Here I have taken one more probe and negative it is a common ground, we just observe here, we have to check output at pin number 6. Of the op amp pin number 6 I am connecting at the output now you are getting this inverted signal
inverted signal. This is what I applied the input. Output you are getting. Both signals are inverted. You can observe here. 180 phase reversal you are getting. See here. So now, the first part of uh, this first step of experiment is over now. We have readily available our inverted signal. Now this is, we have to apply to this IC4051 at pin number uh, 13, inverted signal. Pin number 14, it is a direct carrier. You can take uh, one wire at the input side of this uh, inverted carrier section and you can make a shot from here to here, direct carrier and it is an inverted carrier. And pin number 11, it is message signal. You can apply this uh, directly from uh, another FG. See here, one FG can be used for applying to the inverted uh, carrier generator. The output it is for pin number 13. And here you can make a shot from this input side to this carrier signal. Then you can check output across pin number 3. This is the flow actually. Start. Here I see 4051 I used as I told in the beginning. So it is a 16 pin IC. The biasing of IC is plus 5 and minus 5 volts. Plus 5, we should apply to the pin number 16. Here it is a 16 pin. Minus 5, you have to apply to the pin number 7. And this is a terminal, what I have grounded. Green color is grounded. See here, according to the circuit. 7 it is a minus 5 volts, 16 plus 5 volts and pin number 9 and 10 it is ground, 11 you have to apply the message signal, 6 pin it is a inhibit pin you have to ground, see here, same thing I have made this, here it is a pin number 6 it has been grounded, 7 it is a minus 5 volts, it is a common ground, plus 5 volts it is pin number 16, 9, 10 I have made a short and one common wire it has been grounded and Pin number 8 is also grounded. So this is the pin connection of uh, IC4051. Now we have to apply the input for this. Three inputs we have to apply. As I told in the beginning, we have to apply the carrier signal, inverted carrier signal and the message signal. Three inputs, I will show you how to take those three inputs. First, I will show you the carrier signal. What I have taken already in the already I, uh, I shown you while doing this inverting amplifier here I have taken direct uh, signal carrier signal at this point the same here this point and this point to be shorted now because the carrier same signal I have to apply to this pin number 14 so I am make using this green wire same point I am shorting the direct carrier is to pin number 14 16 and it is a 14 now I have connected this green wire for this carrier signal, direct carrier signal have connected this green wire to pin number 14 of the IC4051. So now, inverted carrier as it is available at pin number 6 of this op amp, already we have checked that output from pin number 6 of op amp to the 13 of this inverted carrier signal. 13. Pin number 13. This is a blue wire. This is green, green wire direct carrier. This is blue wire. I have connected to get inverted carrier from pin number 6 of op amp to the pin number 13 of this IC4051. Now the remaining one signal that is important message signal. I am taking directly from the FG and connecting to pin number 11 with help of this probe. Eleven, and it is a common ground. I will switch on this plan. Now three inputs are given: square wave carrier and inverted carrier. Now I will make this breadboard common ground. Ground. Now with the help of uh, other two probes on the DSO. I will check the message signal what I applied at pin number 11 parallelly. So, message is coming out across DSO. Message signal is coming. 
now i have to check the expected output that is a psk signal at this uh, pin number 3 of ic4051 Hmm. Now I am checking the final output. This is negative of the probe is common grounded at the pin number three of this four zero five one IC. See that you are getting the PSK signal as I shown in the earlier PSK phase shift. You can observe at every trailing edge. You can observe the phase shift. This is the message signal and it is a PSK signal. So frequency signal you have to tune accordingly. Square wave I have kept uh, 430, uh, 437 Hz. This is uh, 5 kHz carrier signal I have kept. Amplitude you have to tune accordingly. Carrier and uh, measure signal you maintain 1 is to 10 it is better. It is 5 kHz. It is a 500 Hz square wave. And amplitude you have to tune it accordingly. Thank you. Uh, this is the completion of generation of PSK. Uh, for the detection of PSK, I will make another video. If any doubts, you just please comment me and uh, let me know. So in another video, I will show you how to make a summing amplifier and envelope detector. The same output PSK output, what I have shown is that is that will going to be input for uh, the summer circuit and output of that will be ASK amplitude shift key. And finally, we are connecting that to envelope detector to get your original uh, message signal back. That is recovery of original message.